guys, it's Jessie V. So you guys know how I love making videos talking about the creepy things with old nursery rhymes and like songs we heard as kids, riddles, things like that. Well, as you can tell by the title of today's video, today I'm talking about these strange origins and a very creepy story that has to do with the hokey pokey, which sounds so silly, but it's actually so terrifying. And I know that we all know what the hokey pokey is, which makes this video even more creepy. So I'm gonna get into that in just a moment. I just wanna firstly talk about a couple of things we have just put onto our website. The first are these very cute baby dinosaur plushies that actually come with an egg that you can take them out of, put them back in. It's just such a cool concept and they're so adorable. We also have these cases of mini plushies called cupkins. I'm actually holding one right here, but they actually come inside like a cup that you would see at like Starbucks or like a grocery store. It has like fake ingredients on the back. It has like the logo on the front and inside there's mini plushies that are food. So this one is donuts, but we have cookies, we have cupcakes and they're so cute. They're kind of like little squishies and they all come apart inside. And like, I just, I think they're so cool. So I have linked those down below. And we have also just come out with a birthday mystery box. So this is not gonna be like our seasonal boxes that are up for a limited time. These are gonna be up all year. So if you have a birthday coming up and you would like your own like personal mystery box, we have those available now, which I think is so cool. So all of these items come in like different styles and colors, but it comes with a birthday hat. It comes with the cutest birthday cake napkins. It comes with a cute little plushy cupcake. This is probably one of my favorite things in the box. It's so squishy and so cute. It comes with a very detailed birthday cake magnet. Hopefully it's focusing, but I love that. It comes with a cute little birthday cake lip gloss and another one of the coolest things in this box is that it comes with a birthday token. So in this cute little baggie here, I'll take it out for you. This is a token for one birthday wish. So basically when you get it in your box, you take it, hold it in your hand and you're able to make a birthday wish, which I love. And then you just like keep it with you or display it or put it in like a little keepsake box. So yeah, if you guys would like a birthday box either now or when it's your birthday, maybe you want to send it to one of your relatives or friends or family. I have linked it down below for you. Okay, so without further ado, let's talk about the origins of the Hokey Pokey. The Hokey Pokey is a campfire song and participation dance with a distinctive accompanying tune and lyrics. And it was actually first a British folk dance that originated in 1826. I had no idea that this song and rhyme was so old, but the lyrics when it first came out were much different from the ones that we know now. So let me read you the first lyrics and I'm gonna struggle with this. <laughs> fall de ra la, fall de ra la. Hinkum booby roundabout, right hands in and left hands out. Hinkum booby roundabout, fall de ra, fall, <laughs> I can't do this. Fall de ra la, fall de ra la. This is like a tongue twister, but people actually sang this, they did the little dance and obviously it sounds very different from the one that we know now, especially the hinkum booby. Yeah. In the 1940s, a man named Al Tabor changed the lyrics and apparently paid homage to an ice cream vendor from his childhood who would actually call out hokey pokey penny a lump have a lick make you jump and hokey pokey was supposedly a slang at the time for ice cream and the ice cream seller was actually called the hokey pokey man it wasn't until the late 1900s that the song became the one that we know and those lyrics are you put your right leg in you put your right leg out you put your right leg in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself about. That's what it's all about. Everybody should know this little song and dance. So if you do, comment the music note emoji. And if you've never heard of this ever, comment the broken heart emoji. We're gonna see which one wins, but I really hope it's the music notes. Come on guys. Okay, so let's talk about the creepy pasta legend. If you really think about it, the hokey pokey is such a strange concept because it's a group of people standing in a circle doing a weird dance. So it's a little bit suspicious. And I think that's sort of where the 
creepy legend stems from, it is said that if you sing this song and do the dance with it, you're actually summoning an incredibly scary and ancient being known as the Hokey Pokey. And while this might sound a little cheesy and a little silly, once I tell you about this one person's experience, you're not gonna think that. It's actually terrifying. There was this guy who made an online post about his personal experience. He said that he at first did not believe this legend. So he bought a CD with the Hokey Pokey song on it. And when he was alone in his room, he played it a couple times and then he decided to do the dance with it. He felt really awkward doing this all by himself in his room. And at first nothing happened. It wasn't until he had done it three times that he got this uncomfortable feeling that something was actually happening. He was about to replay the song when he heard this distant laughter, but he thought that must have been impossible. No one could have gotten into his house without triggering the alarms. Everything was locked. So he waited a little longer and when the laughter stopped and didn't continue, he just assumed that it was all in his imagination. He was just working himself up. So he played the song again, but this time it was skipping. It was super warped and weird sounding. And then that creepy laughter came again. This time he knew it was not his imagination because he began to hear these running footsteps echoing in his house and the footsteps sounded like bare feet slapping against the ground. And this laughter was getting closer and closer. He was about to run to his bedroom door to close it and lock it, but when he looked, the thing was already standing there. He said it practically looked like a skeleton with a thin layer of flesh covering its bones. Its eyes were these hollow black sockets with a flaming orange iris that looked like it was staring right into his soul. It had this shaggy black hair that came down right in front of its face and its mouth was plastered with this huge permanent sick smile. It had needle sharp teeth that were yellowed and blackening with decay. This thing looked awful, something from everyone's nightmares. And with a rush of madness, it dashed right towards him. But luckily this guy was able to run into his bathroom and lock the door and he waited there for what seemed like 10 minutes. And when he didn't hear anything behind the door, he slowly opened it. And that's when he saw this huge black puddle on the ground. It looked like black sludge. So it seemed like the Hokey Pokey only had a certain time limit after hearing the song to get you. And once his time was up, he turned into a puddle. So yeah, just a warning about next time you want to do the Hokey Pokey. The good thing about it is that you have to do it three times, I guess, for this to actually happen, if it even happens. It'd be kind of cool if it did. But of course I'm gonna try it on the vlog channel. You know me, so stay tuned for that. But if you guys want me to do more creepy videos about old song legends or nursery rhymes or just like things we used to hear as kids, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. But don't forget if you wanna check out any of the new items that we have on the website, like our cupkins, our mini dinosaurs, our birthday mystery box, everything is linked down below. But I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!